Birthday boy and girl. I'm now prepared, and his wife are ready to come in the second time. They'll be doing that the next two uh, few times. I think it's four way of, of entrance before we go from here. It's about nine o'clock on the dot. We're going according to our schedule, and we are live on YouTube and Facebook. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you have all enjoyed the food very well. Should anybody have a present for them in case you have a parcel or whatever it is, an envelope? There is a box behind you right to the bar. If you go down there, drop it in there with the telephone number at the back of it, they will call you and say thank you. And no, all this, as, as you are saying, is not ordinary thing. It takes money. So if you can help them, they are not asking you for it from your heart. If you want to bless them, God bless you. They will say thank you. Now is the time. A brush is at another day. You remember to say, the second time. A birthday boy, a calling boy because he is now celebrating his birthday with the wife. And as a man in control, he always sit on the right and the wife will sit on the back. I want the ladies to meet them down at the door as they do the first time. I would like all of you humbly to stand when they are coming in. We want to make it more environmental friendly to them so that they will enjoy the day. Obia may a common day that means we can stand up and then welcome them. To I'm sorry, as we did at the music going to welcome them in the second time of asking. We have another two entries coming up soon. But this is the second time tonight. I hope you are all enjoying the food, the offering, the meats, the drinks, everything. The environment is awesome. If you see it on the YouTube, it's so flashing. Nice pictures, sharp. And I love the way that it's going. All down to do for production. It's making things happen like. Mommy, can you organize some girls to meet Nana and wife at the door? I'm already man. Organize some girls to meet them there for me for the second time as they did the first time. Opposite door, please. Opposite door as we warm up. Please enjoy the drinks. We've got so many alcohol down there. Don't let it waste. Go and help yourself. Ask them to give you anything they want. And don't forget to give them something. This is a remembrance party. Anybody will fight you. This is a party. Yeah, we we'll go down the history books of Nana and the wife. Or one event you have a child. In the seventh year, we don't have the wives. We get it too. Thank you. 
Shall we all please stand as they come in the second time tonight? Please, let's, let's play our lesson together. Please let them welcome Donna and the wife are here. As for that luminous song, the very favorite thing that they love, they come in in traditional African and Ghanaian way. As you know, firmly dressed up, looking beautiful and gorgeous, handsome and beautiful, as we see in our homes. He has been dancing since 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock today, and never give it up. For the strength to do all that. It is a 70 year old man for the about it. So beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Thank you so much for joining and I and the wife to the floor. It's all about speech is time now. Speech is time now. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Put your hands together for them again for me. Put your hands together for us. Yes. Wait, uh, yeah, uh, time. Are you from around the first and second? <laughs> so nice. But move on. I am fed to Look, I don't know. Maybe you're coming on an idea this year. No, you're coming. I'm here for this year. So nice. So, so gorgeous. I was saying, for who knows them much? You need to know something about them. When they were born, what have they done with their life? When and how they got to this point of me and you joining them celebrating their birthdays. And today we will hear all that. We've got some speeches to make. Where they now went to school, I've got infantry pim guys sitting right there at the corner. Brafu, 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 kuru, names they speak very well. Uh, we've got some Cambridge, Cambridge students here as well. You hear them. But I'll first call the son of Nana and Matthew. I will call Kabra Prempe if he's here. Kabra, where are you? Put your hands together as I invite Kabra to give me the first speech of the night. Kabra, where are you? Kabra, where are you? Kabra, sorry. Where are you? Yeah. Okay, you Okay, good. 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 Who's going to read? The big boy or the young ones? You see? The young ones. Are you sure? Is that you? You need to put confidence in them. So who's going to read? Oh, you read. Okay. You see? The beautiful ones. Look, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. There's an image of the two. So, so nice. There you are. Your microphone. Shut it up. I'm so happy to be here. So that we can run through this bit. Thank you. Please join us with your hearts and minds. Can we have some silence, please? Please, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I must say, thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I'd like to start off by saying uh, we give glory to God. It's truly an amazing and wonderful vision that we have in front of us to see all of you here to come and celebrate with us. You know, we're truly grateful and thankful that you got here safe. And the joy and the laughter and the love that you're showing us is truly appreciated. So I'd like to start off by saying thank you very much for being here with us. This is uh, some of the children. <laughs> There's two more missing. Yeah. So I'm the second eldest, and uh, the first eldest is in Ghana, and these are the remaining. You know, this um, this whole line here tells a story. You know, and the story I cannot stand here is now to let everybody explain their own experiences and what they've gained and acknowledged, because we'll be here till tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow being a bank holiday, everybody wants to rest and they're not working. So, you know, I just want to say that we appreciate the fact that we are able to witness this celebration of both birthdays with the abundance of friends and families that's present here with us tonight. You know, we've managed to see the growth of each individual of our parents through their journey and together the love and the support that they've shown each other. So we are hoping that we can take from this experience and impart it to our children and also to our friends and families as well. You know, we are truly grateful. And in saying this, I don't want to talk too much. Um, I'm just going to summarize by doing a toast. So I'd like everybody to just raise their glasses and I'm just about to do a toast, please.
Okay, so just a, a toast to show appreciation to our parents. So we want to say, behind you is all your experiences. In front of you is all of your dreams. Around you is everybody that loves you. And with you is all that you need. And we have many, many more years to celebrate with you. Thank you very much. God bless. At this point, can we do three big cheers? Hip hip! Hooray! That's not good enough. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Isn't it beautiful? And now we can, and then we can. One more summer, one more summer, one more summer, one more And just give a clap. Let's clap. Right, the second tribute. I would like to invite my big man, Sir Kofi Sapo. I would say, my baby, and my baby. I said to you earlier on that he came over from Ghana for this program and learn. Uh, he's in the field of Ghana. Around the mommy in my bed. Here you are. Thank you very much, um, Mr. MC. Before I go on, I'd like to correct the mistake that I made earlier. In the course of my introduction, I forgot to acknowledge the presence of the consort of the chairperson, Nana Brako Sapon Kumankuma's partner. I'm sorry, madam, forgive me for not introducing her the first time. Thank you. Uh, because it's a double celebration, I think we, I would be doing a very great disservice to. The lady I call mommy, Nana Pemper's wife, if I don't say anything about her. So I'd like to spend the next couple of minutes. I'm going to to you once again. I'm going to tell you once again. I'm to tell you once again. I'm going to tell you once again. I'm going to to the thing is that a lot of people are talking under influence. I'm not an influence of what me, I don't know. So can you please limit the voices a little bit? I will. Thank you. Maybe I have to make the point that um, this is the second speech, the second and the last speech we're going to make this evening. So if you can indulge us for just 10 minutes or so, it would be nice. Thank you very much. Um, Nana Prempe's wife, Mrs. Kofua Guatima Prempe, a brief profile. She had a basic education at St. Peter's Educational International School in Kumasi, Ghana. Went to Kumasi Academy and following her Form 5 studies, she did computing and specialized in desktop publishing. She worked with a few firms in Ghana and then established her own company. In the year 2000, she emigrated to London and enrolled at the Barnett College where she obtained a certificate in child care. She worked briefly with Queenswell School, Tottridge and Whetstone as a child care assistant and then thought she would start her own business. Since then, she's been a business, private businesswoman I just wish to say that she's so good-natured and pleasant that if you have her as a friend, as a good friend, you have a friend for life. For Mrs. Prempe is generous to a fault. She's always supportive of her family and friends and never shies away from supporting anyone who is indeed in need. She's never faced by life's house and wives because of her belief in the supreme being. A Catholic Christian, she's guided by the principles of do unto others as you would they do to you. Nana's wife is very hard working, very supportive of the husband and the family. That's all I would like to say about her. Please give her a hand. Awesome. Don't worry about me. 
you hold on this apparently fat looking dossier. It's nothing. Most of the stuff is born to the royalty on both sides. In the year of our Lord, 1952, on the 12th of March to be precise. Nana Prempe went to the St. John's Preparatory School in Accra from 1960 to 66. Between 1966 and 71, he went to Infanston School, where he got his GCE O levels. Between 1971 and 73, Nana Prempe went to the Kwabiman School, where he obtained his GCE A levels. He proceeded to the University of Science and Technology, KNUST now, where between 1973 and 77, he worked towards a Bachelor of Science degree in land economy. Between 1980 and 1984, Nana went to the University of Calgary in Canada, where he obtained a Master of Environmental Design, Urban and Regional Planning from the University of Calgary. 1989 to 91, he was at the University of East London here, where he obtained a postgraduate diploma in land administration. In the year 2014, the Barclay Institute of the United States of America gave him an honorary doctorate of philosophy degree in traditional and cultural transformation in particular land administration as part of the Perostrophe World Honorary International Awards. I'm only telling you all this because if I asked all of you what you know about Nana Prempe, you'd all have something to say, but you wouldn't have everything that I know. So just bear with me. Nana's career, quite varied and illustrious. He worked with the Agricultural Development Bank in Ghana from 1977 to 79 as an assistant estate manager. And then from 79 to 80 as the acting head of the estate division. In 1981, he worked as a settlement analyst with CEDA, Canadian International Development Agency, and NORI the Northern Region Rural Integrated Program in Ghana. His brief was to conduct a socio-economic survey of the Northern Region of Ghana intended to plan the delivery of the basic needs of the people. In 1984, Nanada had another stint with CEDA, this time as a senior planner in the area of development planning. This was in addition to working as a realtor with A.E. LePage Real Estate Services, the position he held in 1983. Then I probably returned to Ghana and joined the ADD Real Estate Office in from 1985 to 1989. His brief included property management, property development, and management and valuation. He served in the UK where between 1989 and 1997 he held a similar position, regional estate officer with the Royal National Institute for Deaf People, IRNID, with responsibility for Scotland, Southeast, and the North of England, quite extensive. You can indeed call him an international estate officer because he had the same responsibilities with the RNID. Nana went back to Ghana and took up his position with the University of Cape Coast as head of estate section between 1998 and 1999. He had the same portfolio, property management, property development, and management and valuation. While holding this position, Nana Prempe doubled as a chief hall counselor 
and double deputy hall master of Valco Hall. His additional responsibilities show that man's versatility. He oversaw the administration of the hall and counseled students. For the next five years, 1999 to 2004, the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, Ghana, became the beneficiaries of Nana Pesimrempe's extensive knowledge and expertise when he joined them as the head of their estate division. His role covered management, controlling it and executing the work of the estate department that comprised the transport section, security, maintenance, and the guest house in Accra. Next on the list of the next state departments was the state housing company. He was the director of estate with this outfit from 2004 to 2010. On the 20th of August 2009, Nana became the Manshiahine, Utunfo Manshiahine, after he succeeded his maternal grandfather, Nana Kojo Otim. At the Secretariat, Nana was the liaison officer at Asantihine Silan's Secretariat from 2011 to July 2017. He was the main administrator of the Secretariat, managing all two lands in the Kumasi traditional area consisting of the Kumasi metropolis, metropolis sorry, and six districts. He also covered some 21 other districts within the Ashanti region. He was responsible for public formulation, for land acquisition, proper planning and development of the Kumasi traditional area. Work in academia. In the 1980s, Anna delivered a series of professional career talks to land economic students at KNUST. He was a supervisor and external examiner, external examiner, for final year students at the same land economic department. He provided vocation training to students of land economy and estate management at the university. He is a member of two professional bodies, the Canadian Real Estate Association, which he became a member of in 1984. Then in 1987, he became a member of the Ghana Institution of Surveyors. A period spanning 10 years, between 1999 and 2009, Nana Abbasi served as the honorary auditor for the General Practice Division of the Ghana Institution of Surveyors. Nana Prempe and Sports, Hobbies. From preparatory school through university, and I was a keen sportsman. He was a member of the school football team, athletics team, acrobatic team, and the cultural troupe at St. John's. At Mfasten, he was a member of the school football and hockey teams, a member of the house football team, hockey, athletics, cricket, and some others. He was also a member of the Geographic Society, African Cultural Society, Geography Society. He was the organizing secretary of the Society in Aid of the Blind and Voluntary Work Camp Association. At Okwabeman, he now was a member of the school football and athletics teams. He was also a member of the Ghana United Nations Students Association and House Prefect for Apufo House.
at Ogadamanga now won many awards in the Eastern Region in the 100 and 200 meter sprints and relays. He's a very good sportsman. At Kern UST, he was a member of the Republic of Football and Athletic Teams. He was the sports chairman of Republic Hall, a member of the University Sports Committee, and a member of the 100 and 200 meter investors relay teams. He was adjudged the best student hall administrator during his time at the Republic Hall. I was expecting you to clap for him every now and again. But it looks like In fact, those of you who attended university in Ghana should note this. Nana was the one who originated the triangular games amongst the three universities in Ghana. European, USC, Lebanon, and Cyprus. So, it started with Republic of War and Lebanon Hall. Spirituality. Anna Prempe is a Roman Catholic baptized and confirmed. He is a member of the Knights of St. Marshall. The Knights of Marshall. In fact, he is a past Grand Knight of the Lord. His role as a traditional ruler has seen a convergence of values between Christianity and traditional belief systems. To him, the force behind chieftaincy emanates from God. Therefore, the two reinforce each other. As the Manishahene, he belongs to the Manwefu Fekyo of the Jasi Division of the Kumasi Traditional Council. His contributions to Fekyo discussions have been recognized for their intensity, relevance, and his weight. Nana's life has not been without adversities and challenges, but I am delighted to say that he accepts adversity and challenge as a normal part of life. He thrives on them sometimes, and more often than not, he comes up trumps. He is who he is today because of his sheer will at times. In general, his leadership qualities in both his nuclear and extended families is one built on the tough love approach. He praises and rewards virtue, but never shies away from being blunt where he needs to. His fun for life his, sorry, his love for fun belies a steely resolve that is best tested when the chips are down and others flat. He has a very strong personality. He's highly principled and thrives on integrity. He is someone who can never be compromised. You simply cannot compromise the man, regardless of circumstances. He doesn't suffer fools gladly. He's a deep and practical thinker with a lot of foresight. He's highly focused, his brain is always, is always in gear, and he's one person you can count on in will and world. On the social side, he likes a lot of fun. And you can tell from his repertoire of dance skills that the man has got a lot going for him. As someone who was not born with a silver spoon in his mouth, Nana Prempe has achieved a lot. Which team does he support? Asante Kotoko. I know that you will not admit to it out of modesty. But I can say that Nana has had a tremendous impact on the lives of so many people, friends, colleagues, family, 
మనం ఓటు autobiography he wrote it by himself and being checked by another people he's so wonderful to listen to such things about yourself when you are sitting down yes sir 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 See Mrs. Prempe and you can have one because I know that I will be leaving soon. The last tribute is from Infantipim Secondary School, we call it now. Those days we call it Infantipim yeah, School. What is Infantipim School? Yeah, the school. Oh man, the yeah, school. Put your hands together for them. Come on, come from, come. Please, please do that. They have something to say as well. We'll be called Infantipim those days now. Thank you, sir, for our address. The reason I'm holding the mic now is because I'm the tallest amongst them. <laughs> then I want to make a correction. Never ever say infantry secondary school. It is infantry school. There are only two schools in Ghana. Opoku High School. My friend keep quiet. We have infantry school and the rest. <laughs> Um, whether you like it or not, I've said it, and it's true. Um, Mr. Sapon said a whole lot. I don't know where he got his information from, but because... Pardon? Okay. Oh. Oh. Nana, Nana, we haven't seen you yet. We, 
Now we are going to talk about you. We don't want to look at you. Um, but you see, let me tell you something. I live in Accra, and I'm from Bulga. And every time I have to go through Kumasi, guess what? The landlord is here. I won't mess around. I like my head. Um, we're just putting a few fillers. First of all, maybe you don't know this, but Nana happened to be one of the few people in Ghana who took their common entrance a day after the 1962 coup. A day after. So you can imagine how traumatic it was, but we went through it. And on 22nd of September 1966, a few of us assembled on the hill, the place called Kabuche. And he mistakenly said, Vanshin Secondary School. Never say that again. And I tell you, we were so green, 105 of us, some of us hadn't been outside uh, Accra in a few places, but we managed to make friends. And, no, no, better not be much here. No, I can't talk. No, I can't talk. He was such a gentleman from the early days. If I had known that he was going to be the landlord of Mansia, I tell you, I would have been carrying his bag around, but I didn't know that. The fact is that I'm sure you are waiting for us to steal the beans, but there's nothing for us to steal, at least not from my side. I've told you already, I like my head, so I won't say anything bad against him. But the, the fact also is that he has been a gentleman from day one, at least from when we were in school. A gentleman. I never saw him angry. I never saw him fighting. But he looked very strong. Even though I was taller than him, oh, you did. <laughs> Somebody's confessing here, but it's okay. <laughs> he was a gentleman. And I'm not saying this because I'm going to be asking for a plot of land in Kumasi, but you know, all I have to tell you is that he was a gentleman, he's been a gentleman all the way through. I personally had a problem, and uh, maybe it's personal, but let me say how genuine he is. I lost my son-in-law, and I just called him to tell him I was in his territory. Nana took over the arrangements. First day, he sent three elders, and they organized everything without telling him. And on the day of the funeral, the whole Manchia Hini was sitting there, and uh, people were asking, who brought him here? And of course, you know, I had to be raising my elbows and everything to show that, yes, I'm also connected. And he sat there like a true royal, and everything went very smoothly. That is how genuine this man is. That is how genuine he is. Um, I will pass on to my mate over here, who is appropriately dressed. You can see it. Boba 71. Boba 71 is, let me explain that to you. When we sleep over 71, that wasn't where we went to school, but that was when we were in Form 5, or we left Form 5. So we are the last of the few um, species around. There's one junior boy that we can call him around to. Oh, he's here. My friend stand two paces back. Anyway, so rather than keep on talking and blabbing, let me pass it on to. Um, Sir Rice. His nickname is Sir Rice, the only knighted mobile member here. Hello, brother. I'm happy to be here to tell everybody about how we met 50 years ago in Cape Coast. Ashanti Ban and Afanti Man. And we became such good friends because we were all in the same class one day. Okay, yeah, yeah, kind of fancy. 
No. Then my auto leave it broke from and that was it. Since then we become, become very, very good friends. He has in different capacities advised me. I mean honestly, if I have to go home, I think I think I'm going to take over the whole thing. So all I can say is that Nana and the wife, happy birthday, and I hope you live to be another 70 years and more and more. So thank you very much. Thank you. And give it to the fans of Mbuba for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the fans of Mbuba School. Round of applause for the fans of Mbuba School. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in Kamu. I never call my manka. Oh, man, I'm not going to fancy the school. I'm sorry. I want to put a comfort fish. I'm not going to manka. I'm not going to fancy the school. I'm not going to fancy I'm sorry. I'm not going to fancy the school. I'm not going to fancy the school. I'm not going to fancy the school. I'm not going to fancy the they are the fishers of men. Give it to fancy film school, they are the seniors. Mama, we service you. Thank you very much. Um, and I'll be able to cut the cake now. Yes. Um, and this place is when you're ready. Sumpa, also when you're ready. This is the time to climb up the whole show. It's been beautiful. It's been a beautiful journey. Nana, 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 looking very gorgeous. Nana, 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 I don't know if you know what I am my shoddy. My dear, I am my shoddy. It's hard to see it. And you know, if a jacket can do that, climb us in the whole show. You want to invite an Amber Brain. And that is a very good family friend. I mean, the family friend, they want to have you up as a little woman, bro. I'm telling you. On my hand, you are and say, We know you're not so good. You must say, Because I was signing, you know, I mean, the land office. You say, Family, son of a guy, friend, I'm not a friend. And I is my own boss as well, you know, in radio. Yes, radio, you know, on the chassis and son of a yes, yeah, dear radio. See, and I is going to lead the kids, Captain. They come to this point, join us with your hearts and minds. And if I climb and see the whole show, I yeah. Come on. Come on, boss boy. 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 Tradition to 
If you want to join them, please do join them quickly as we can. My pictures are taking place. A very historic moment. The Fancy Film School, get ready to take pictures as well. And you can keep it in your album forever. The health table please join them. And under the health table, the fancy people will join. Leave the health table after this, the fancy people boys. The chair of the Keshi. And now, I'm going to the wife. It's our next wife. That's right. Thank you so much. They say it's only one school and the others. The Batman School. The Batman Celebration. Hey, hey, sorry, sorry. Thank you. You can have your seat. Yes. 
And afterwards, St. Colonies will follow. Let me remind you, we are, we are here till 1 o'clock. It's going to be a more big time dancing. We've got booze in the house. we still got food out there. We're here till 1 o'clock. Let's be waiting for you. Please do come. After that, after the gift, the chairman will give you a closing remarks. And then the rest will be dancing, 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 dancing. So the little ladies are coming. They are so unique. Their name proves everything. Look the way they are. Can you please come in the middle here to face them? Uh -huh. Hey, 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 Fia, who is Nanayiri, being a member of our group. She's our spokesperson for all occasions. Sister Fia is the respectable, respectful, good-natured, and very pleasant person. And that's why we are here today. I myself came from Ghana yesterday, and I'm very tired and sleepy. I had to be here because of Nana and Sister Fia. Now, we have in our hand a large envelope containing several items which we are not going to mention. And we have a bouquet of flowers for both Nana and Sister Efia. Nana and Sister Efia, Nyami Shaman, Afishapa, Yedohana, Sushida, why invite you? Thank you very much.
number three. The music going. What's your woman all day? Then I'm going to come back. Let's go for it. Thank you. 